Hey everybody, and today is my third time recording this video because I had some technical difficulties. Three back-to-back -back takes, but we're going to be proving that the square root of 3 is irrational. I don't even know if I'm right. It's 1.18 in the morning, and I want to get this video done. So let's get started. We're going to sup... Uh, let me write proof first. Actually, P, F for proof. We're going to actually start by something very original. We are going to suppose the opposite. We're going to suppose that the square root of 3 is actually rational. Is rational. Now, what we're going to do after that, or rather, what we can draw from this conclusion, right, or this s supposition, if that's a word, is that if it is rational, if square root of 3 is in fact rational, then we can write it as some fraction m over n, where n does not equal 1, of course, or 0, because that doesn't help us. And I believe m over n has to be reducible, or is reducible, not very relevant to the proof, so I'm not going to write it here, but if you, you want to hear that, I, I think it is in fact um, reducible. But first we're going to start by squaring both sides, so we're going to get 3 equal to m squared over n squared, and now from here we're going to solve for both n squared and m squared, and we're going to write two new equations. So of course solving for, solving for m squared is very easy, we just get 3n squared equals m squared by multiplying both sides by n squared. Uh, then we divide both sides by 3 to get n squared. n squared is equal to m squared over 3. Now by doing this, we're just going to make two equations composed either entirely of n or entirely of m. So let's write that over here. We're going to start with n because that's the easiest. We're just going to have 3n squared over n squared. And this you get a 3. And now we're going to do it for m as well. So we're going to get m squared over m squared oops, over 3. This equals 3. Now of course we can rewrite this equation if we just do our, our basic uh, keep change flip for fractions. Uh, we're going to get 3m squared over m squared. And this equals 3. Now since these equations both equal 3, we can set them equal to each other. So we get 3n squared over n squared. This equals 3m squared over m squared. Now I could cancel out these and say 3 equals 3, but the problem with that is well, I don't know what the problem with that is. We're just going to ignore it. Uh, but we, we can what we see from this is that n equals m, right? n equals m, or n squared equals m squared. And of course, that would mean n equals m. That's a bad m. m, two bumps, OK. But if n equals m, then our original assumption I wrote it in a different order, whatever. But if m equals n, then our original assumption that the square root of 3 can be written as a fraction m over n, where n is not equal to 1 or 0, is wrong, because m over n equals 1. And the square root of 3 does not equal 1. Neither does 3 equal 1. So, from this contradiction, we can say that the square root of 3 is irrational. I don't even know if this is true or rather if this proof is right but I'm going to do a little box thingy give them give them that give them the QED as well hit them with the latin tell them that this proof is now complete and thank you for watching